with Let's Get Chalkin' with Jen, independent designer with Chalk Couture. As you come on, please make sure you say hello to me. I would love to welcome you. If you are catching me live, you will see the big red live box in the upper left corner. That means we can chat live right here on Facebook. And you guys, if you're catching me on YouTube, please make sure you subscribe to my channel for all the fun, crafty videos I'll be sharing with you this spring, summer season. And then really cool, you guys, if you want to make sure that you do catch me live, all you need to do is text chalk the number two and me to 81010 and you will get a notification when I'm getting ready to go live so that you don't miss any videos. Hey guys, how are you? Happy, what's today, Tuesday? Happy Tuesday, casual day. What? I work from home, it's casual day. So I've got a really cute, fun craft that I'm going to be doing for you tonight. If you happen to be a part of my VIP group, and I actually think I posted it here on the business page, um, I bought some really cute things that I created yesterday with some paint and things like that. So we're going to be doing a really cute like end table project or sell, uh, shelf sitter project for you. So let me get this up on the screen and get this project started for you. So here you go, guys, a super cute, fun, easy project you can create at home, right? We're all sitting at home right now. So how fun would it be to craft? Like it's a great hobby, it keeps your mind off thing. I know it keeps my mind off of things. So these are the really, really cute little stackable books that you saw me paint and distress, okay? So if you haven't seen that video, like I said, I know I posted it in my VIP group, but I also think I did post it here. These are actually, check this out. These are like the paper mache, or I don't know if you want to call them little tchotchke or jewelry boxes that you can buy. I bought mine at Hobby Lobby, not going to lie. You guys know I'm obsessed. I took white chalky paint and painted them, okay? And then I took a little bit of the oxidized distressing, um, and padded it on there and I did do a video to show you how to do that. Hey, Anita welcome And then I did wax this surface you guys So I always tell everybody the wax that I use is a minwax finishing paste in natural Literally you guys it's just a wax. Can you see that in there? You dip your paper towel in you rub it over your surface and then you let it dry before you're going to use chalk couture products so for those of you who haven't watched me before i'm a designer with this really cool company called chalk couture if you're here hopefully you've known or seen it maybe this is new to you welcome we love having you here but we have these really cool silk screen reusable transfers we have our Chalkology paste, and we have inks where you can make t-shirts, dish towels, pillowcases. We have all the tools that you need as well. And then we do have many, many beautiful surfaces for you, high-end surfaces that you can create on. So it's like a one-stop crafting store. But what's really awesome, first off, these transfers are all reusable. So maybe you've used vinyl in the past or things like that. Hey, Gloria, welcome. These are a little different because when you're done with these, you clean them up with water, you wipe them down with a Clorox wipe, you let them air dry, and then you put them back on their carrier sheets. And you guys, the directions are all right on the back of the transfers. Should you choose to buy these at home and do them outside of a workshop, you know, you can always ask questions as well, but they are super cool and super easy to use. So let's get started. Now I always tell everybody, please make sure you keep your packaging. It's a really, really great place to store it. It also has a nice little, what do you call this? Like a little place you can hook them on if you've got a craft room or something like that. So it's just a great piece to store it in. And then as you can see in our transfers, there are cut lines. So of course I'm gonna use our gorgeous Chalk Couture teal scissors. These are Teflon coated, especially for the transfers because they do have an adhesive side on the backing. You will not have your transfers stick to your scissors. So we're just gonna cut those apart. Now I'm done with these. I'm gonna go ahead and set those aside. Happy Tuesday, Sandy. Welcome. Hey, Marty, how are you? So the first thing we are gonna do is we are gonna wanna make sure we write on the back of our transfers. So we're gonna put a one and a one. We'll go two and two. This way you just know which side or which carrier sheet goes on which um, with which transfer. I know I'd get my wording right eventually. <clears throat> so there we go. We've got that all done. 
and we are going to go ahead and get our project started. So our chalk paste, you guys, water soluble, semi-permanent, comes in 36 different colors. You can only find our chalk paste through a chalk couture designer like myself. It is not sold in stores. Absolutely love the things you can do with this. Now, chalk paste can be used on chalkboard, wood, walls, tin, glass, canvas, cardstock, dry erase board. I'm using it on this cardboard surface and that's why I had to wax it because it's easier for your transfers so that they don't stick. But a lot of great things. Um, that you can use this for and it's really also great for kids if you've got art projects you need to do right now because you're sitting at home you guys this is really great because if they mess up which we all do sometimes you totally can redo it over and over again oh Gloria yeah the scissors are amazing amazing thank you so much for your order Gloria all right, so your chalk paste, you want it to be like a yogurt sour cream consistency. If for any reason it is not, you just add a little bit of water and you keep stirring it up. And I actually stirred this one up a little earlier because I knew I was going to do a project today. All right, so these are our stir sticks. Again, we have all the tools that you need as well through Chalk Couture. And this is also reusable. Hey, Barbara, how are you? Welcome. All right, so who's ready to get started? Now I'm getting hot and I have this sweatshirt on. Tossy tossy. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna do one at a time. Can't do them all at once. Aren't these just adorable, you guys? Just so um, if you didn't see it, I also hit my edges with sandpaper, you guys, to also give it a little bit more of a distressed look. But again, check out that video. Super cute, super easy. So here we go, I'm gonna take my finger, I'm gonna rub it over the edge. And then I'm gonna remove my carrier sheets from my transfer. That's how I like to do it. Figure out which best for you. Yay, Barbara, I saw you posted in our VIP group. I can't wait to see what you create with that. So excited for you. Now there are two sides to our transfers, you guys. So there's the matte side and then there's the shiny side. If you forget to write on the back, do you see how there's that shiny? Do, do, do. You always make sure your transfers go back on the shiny side once they are dry. So I'm just gonna set that aside. Now, here's another thing. Because we are doing this on like, I know I waxed it, but because it's more of like a paper type of a surface, it's a cardboard, I am gonna fuzz this up a little bit. So again, I'm just using our fuzzing cloth that we have. Love my fuzzing cloth, you guys. These are like one of the greatest things ever. It's got the fuzzing side and the microfiber side. Just love it. Absolutely, Barbara. I 100% agree with you. 100%. All right. So we're going to stick this on our book. And I don't know if you guys, I'm sure we're all sitting at home looking on Pinterest and looking up great recipes. But these little books, the stackable books, are a really, really big trend. This is the first time I've been doing them but I know other designers have been doing it as well, but you guys, look how easy and quick this is gonna to be to get this done. I'm just making sure I get it where I want it. And then I'm gonna smooth out the area that I'm doing it in just to make sure there's no air bubbles in my silk screen, right? Just like that. So let me ask, who all is sitting home in their pajamas for like the last couple days? Like, hello? Like, I've got a sweatshirt on, but I've got me pajama bottoms. Huh, I'm always in pajama bottoms. Like, it's like work from home, you got your dress shirt on the top or your whatever. Of course, I'm really bumming today, but who's all sitting at home in their pajama bottoms? for two weeks now. Oh my gosh. You're gonna take your squeegee. I'm using the mini squeegee that we offer, and I'm just going to scrape this across my silk screen, okay? Applying a little bit of pressure to get it through that silk screen area. Scraping this across. Take off any excess. Put it right back in the jar, you guys. Just like that. And then top to bottom, left to right, I am going to remove my transfer. Just like that. Check it out. Nice, crisp, clean letters. No weeding involved. So if you have ever used um, vinyl where you have to weed out like the insides, you don't have that here. It's all done for you in that silk screen. Super cool. Crystal's pajamas. I'm with you, girl. Pajamas. 
Okay, then we're gonna do the word together on this one. Home together forever, right? That's, we're all at home right now. See, that's why this worked out perfect. Home together forever. Hopefully not forever, right? Oh yeah, for sure, Marty. If you go out, you know, you've gotta put some nice clothes on. But for the most part, I let Jason go to the grocery store, so I've been home in my pajamas. We have a team meeting tonight, so I'll be in my pajama bottoms and probably the sweatshirt you see I have on right now. Seriously serious. All right, so I'm going to put this on right here. Nope, I want to go down just a little bit. Okay, and again, smoothing that out so there's no air bubbles, you guys. Just like that. You just don't want air bubbles in your silk screen. What I do with my squeegees. Pajamas, pajamas, I swear. Watching Netflix, eating food. Of course, we haven't been doing too bad on eating, like overeating. But craziness, it's craziness. Def we, oh, we got toilet paper. We definitely got toilet paper. Jason found some the other day when he went out. And again, peel that up. You guys, look at that. Look how awesome, right? One more, here we go. Okay, taking my finger, rubbing it over the edge, just like that. Gonna fuzz this up. But if you're sitting at home and you're bored, I mean, you guys, this is a great way to really keep your mind off of things. And like I said, um, in my VIP group, I have some ideas, like there are some kids' kits in there. Um, for the month of March, we've been doing a bundle a day in there. So as long as you're not a designer, if you're interested in being a part of my VIP group, just comment hashtag VIP below, and I'll make sure I get you that link to be added in there. We do giveaways in there. We do fun stuff in there. We love it. A lot, a lot of great people in that group, and we would love to have you. So if you're interested, come on in and join my VIP group for some great deals, you guys. All right, smoothing that out again. Dipping that in. Yay, Sandy, you're home. Awesome. Yay. Make sure you post. I want to see what you create. For sure. You guys know I love when you show me what you guys create. That always makes me happy. All right, look at that, you guys. Scraping the excess off. Squeegee is going to go in my water. I'm going to cover this up. By the way, you guys, chalk paste lasts forever. I'm not, I shouldn't say that. If it's open, it's good for six months. If it's unopened, they are good for up to a year. So they will last. And again, you don't need a lot, but look at that. Look how great that looks so far. So here we go. I'm going to hit this with a hairdryer. That was loud. you make did you post in the group sandy oh gloria i hope i hope everything is good at your work i hope you guys stay safe and healthy just like this you guys i just want to make sure this is dry because we're going to be adding some cute little embellishments all right so i'm just hitting this with a hair dryer once it's dry you are able to touch it one's still a little wet. It's just really, really loud. Just making sure it's dry. Right, Barbara? Yay! Oh, Marty, I actually have... Hold on. Marty, I actually have underneath my shirt, I have my Country Girl t-shirt on. Isn't that awesome? I love it. I guess that was kind of like weird. I <laughs> just flash, flash, but I love the country girl transfer. All right, so as you can see, once it's dry, you guys, you can touch this and feel this. You're good to go that way, okay? So here is what we're going to do next. I'm going to take some twine, okay? 
We're going to take some twine. Let me put this underneath. And we're just going to kind of wrap this around here, you guys. And I just want to make sure I get it to where I have enough excess on the top. All right. So I'm just going to take my twine like that. And I'm totally just going to wrap it around my books a couple times. Okay? Just like that. So it's kind of like holding them together. I'm going to move it down this way just a little bit. Okay? Like that. And then I'm going to tie a little knot up here. I actually need... <clears throat> I need it to be a little bit, I need a little more on this end. So I'm just going to redo that, you guys. A little bit of redo. Ink, yep. Yay! You guys better be sharing your finished designs with me. You guys know I love to see what you create. Okay. So I'm going to, again, let me, let me redo this. I'm going to tie this just like this. I'm going to make a knot. Okay. Actually, before I make my knot, I'm going to get a piece of um, eucalyptus leaf, you guys, and I'm going to just put it in here. Just like this. And I, I probably could have done this afterwards, but that's okay. And I'm going to tie it in there. Okay. Just like that. Making a knot. Okay, so super cute so far, right? And then you know me and my beads. So I'm going to add a little bit of beads to each end. Hi, Jason. Hi, Jennifer. I need to. I'm going to take a piece of little tape here, you guys, for each end. It's just easier. I don't want to put too much on my ends. Ah! Just like this. You guys have seen me use tape on the ends when I'm using beads. It's just easier to push them through when you have a little bit of tape on the end. And then you can grab it from the other side and pull it through. And then you take your tape off. I'm just going to put a little knot here at the end. Let me see here. Oops, I should have left that tape on before I did this part. Let me put a little piece of tape on. It's easier to do little knots and little pieces if there's a little bit of tape on there. So let me redo that really quick. Okay. Mm hmm. Because you tend to pull apart your edges when you do that. So who else is in their pajamas today? Anyone else? Or am I the only crazy one, me and Crystal? Are we the only crazy ones, Crystal? Stuck in our pajamas? Right? Okay. Just like that. Let's do the other side. Like I said, this would be really, really cute. Maybe even on the mant a mantelpiece, something like that over a fireplace. A cute little end table. Cute in your bedroom. Entryway. Anything like that. It's just having fun crafting. Like I said, keeping your mind off what's going on. Keeping your hands busy. Barbara's in her pajamas. Way to go, Barbara. It's the pajama club. Everybody's in their pajamas. Pajama club. Give me a hashtag pajama club if you're with me. If you guys do catch the replay, I would love to know as well. Just give me a hashtag replay later on so that I know you were able to do that. All right, where are my handy dandy scissors? Okay, cut off my excess, you guys. And then there you go. You've got your cute little stackable books like that. Isn't that darling cute little farmhouse decor, shabby chic, okay? And then what I thought would be really fun, and I didn't include this yesterday in my video, so 
Again, your local craft store, you know my favorite, Hobby Lobby. Um, this is one of those cute little milk bottles you could buy. I, again, painted it with a white chalky paint, okay? And then all I'm going to do, you guys, is I, I like love eucalyptus or the land leaves. So I'm just going to add a little bit of greenery, my little, you guys know I'm obsessed with cotton fields. So this was one of the little cotton, um, the little cotton balls florals that you can buy so I'm just gonna arrange this in there okay like super cute right total farmhouse I'm gonna take some fancy ribbon you guys super cute fancy ribbon I'm gonna wrap this around now I would probably hot glue this but right now I'm just gonna tie it for time sake purposes and I forgot to turn my glue gun on anyway so I'm just gonna turn this around really quick I'm just gonna tie this in a knot. But like I said, you could totally just hot glue it and it would work perfectly fine. Okay? And look how adorable, right? Look how adorable that looks on there. Isn't that darling? Super cute, you guys. Now you could totally chalk on this jar too, but I'm trying to keep it a little simplistic. But here, let me, let me do this. Hold on a second, let me go like this. Check this out, you guys. Look how adorable that would look. Let's go this way. Sitting right on top of like, you know, I mean, you could even put it like that if you wanted to on your table, something like that. I mean, you guys, just flat out adorable things that you can create, right? Those cute little stackable books, a cute little simple, you guys, very, very simple, elegant farmhouse decor. So, Yay, you guys. I hope you love this. Again, any questions you have about Chocotour, let me know. You can put them in the comments below, and I'll make sure I answer those for you. If you want to be a part of our VIP group, you guys, like I said, we have bundles in there. We have fun in there. It's really, really a great community to be a part of. Just give me a hashtag VIP below as long as you are not a current designer. And if you are interested, maybe you are looking to have a little side hustle um, you know, coming into what we're in right now, it would, you know, obviously it's really scary. You never know what the times are going to bring. If you're looking for a new opportunity, a way to bring in some extra income, you guys, I am a designer. This is my full-time job and I would love to share that with you. Just give me a hashtag join below and I will make sure I get you all the information you need about being a designer. So again, any questions, let me know. Hope you really, really love this adorable, you guys, this is totally sweet and adorable, simple farmhouse project. And again, thanks so much for tuning in. And you guys, I'll be talking with you soon. Stay safe and God bless you guys. Bye.